Hello everyone, today I'm going to be doing an unboxing and reviewing of the Beach Waver B1. So I've been wanting this curling iron for I think two years now. And finally these went on for like almost half off of their regular price so I'm like I have to get it now. Look at that. I chose the Neon Desert, I believe that's what it's called. Um, design for this B1 Beach Waver. I believe the B1 series is the most user-friendly and beginner-friendly curling iron that the Beach Waver company has and they have more neon and cool designs with them. So this has cacti and electric bolts and stars and it's got a pretty bright pink rod here. I will say looking at it in person, the handle is a lot bigger than I expected and the barrel is a lot smaller than I expected, which is actually pretty good because it's debating between getting the smaller barrel for my shoulder length hair or the one inch barrel. Also with my purchase, I got um, a $3 mini Great Barrier. This is their hairspray and heat protectant. And I heard it's really great and smells really great, so I really wanted to try it because using the Beach Waver and their own heat protectant, I believe I was trying to get the best look possible. This was on for half off too, so, and I also got a free braid bomb with my purchase because I think they were just trying to get rid of the braid bomb. So I will be reviewing this also in a later video. But in this video, I will be using the Great Barrier Heat Protector. It says tap once to turn it on and I choose about the like medium like setting just because my hair is kind of in between. Alright so while that is heating up I'm going to take off my glasses, section off my hair and apply the heat protectant. Alright let's see how this smells. Polynesian pink sugar is what it's supposed to smell like. It's like a creamy floral, I guess I would say. That's a very bad description, but that's like the best description I can give you. When I smell it, it's almost like it has undertones of that classic hairspray smell, but Polynesian Pink Sugar kind of masks it and makes it better. So this is a heat protector up to 450 degrees and it's also a flexible hold hairspray. So it's a two in one. So while I'm curling my hair, it'll also hold the curls in. I usually don't use hairspray. I've been looking for a great hairspray, but I just haven't gotten around to it. And I've been using this Living Proof Perfect Hair Day heat protectant. And it works well, but I will say it smells really bad and it's a little bit pricey. Okay, as you can see, I have a little bit of natural curl, so I'll see if that affects the beach waver in curling my hair. Okay, so it doesn't look like there's much delay on when I release my finger and it stopping. And also this is what it sounds like. So I'm gonna try this out. I'm gonna take a little section of hair. All right, this is place it at the ends. Leave like an inch out. And then press the arrow going away from my face. I will say, it's very nice have it not having to rotate manually. Over a couple seconds. Release. Look at that bouncy. Now it is sticking out a little bit right here because this part usually goes behind my ear and so it's naturally like that. So I read somewhere that the position that you hold the beach waver in gives you different curls. So they said beachy wave, hold it at 90 degree. Um, there was a different wave for if you hold it straight up for like a looser wave. And if you want more of a ringlet curl, you enclose the ends inside of the clamp and you hold it horizontally. I'm going to actually try the horizontal method. I 
can't directly hold it horizontal, otherwise it'll just keep curling in one place. Okay, so I will say it does end up being more straight more towards the top and more of a curl towards the bottom, if that's the type of curl you like. This is straight up. This is 90 degrees-ish. Don't quote me on that. All right, and actually I'm going to leave a little bit of the ends out on this one, just a little bit, to show you guys how it looks like. That's how it looks. I will say I do like that this clamp is shorter because I realized that with my other curling irons, the clamp is sort of guarding the hair when I'm curling it with my other curling iron that the clamp goes for the full length of the barrel and it really cuts down on the quality of my curl because the heat isn't as evenly dispersed on the clamp as it is per the parts that don't have the clamp on it. That is the first section curled and they're so soft too. Let's let down the second section. I'm going to part about right here. I'm going to add Great Barrier. I will say because this is a hairspray and a heat protectant, I forgot a little bit about it being a heat protectant and so I was totally just going to go without heat protectant because I thought, oh, just spray it on after because it's a hairspray. But no, you gotta put the heat protectant on first because the heat protectant is what protects your hair. down the third section. side is done and it took me a while because I'm taking very little pieces because I want more big textured weight. Spring Great Barrier almost as a hairspray just to make sure that those curls hold and you can see the difference between each side.
Okay, so I finished curling my hair. Um, I would say the left side is a bit more messy than the right side just because I got more of the hang of it and I got this side done faster because I started to get used to it. But, um, so now I'm going to ride my fingers through them. All right, and that is the finished look. I think in the future, I it'll definitely be much quicker to curl my hair. That took like 30 minutes in total to really find out how it worked, but the right side literally only took like five to 10 minutes to do, and I was still figuring out the curling iron. So I think if I get used to it, I'll be able to curl my hair in less than 15 minutes. Also, I divided my hair into three different sections. I think in the future, I'm just going to divide it into two sections and that should cut my curling time down a lot and me getting more used to the beach waver, I think I could cut my curling time down to 15 minutes. So that's my thoughts on the beach waver. Now, great barrier. I like this as a hairspray and I like the smell but I don't know if I like it so much as a heat protectant. I feel like I'm using a lot of product, one, to make sure it's on my hair before I curl, and then two, after I curl my hair for a hairspray. So I feel like I'm using a lot of product and this bottle's already halfway gone. I feel like this is a great product for hairspray, but I feel like for heat protectant in general, I would rather use my Living Proof Stung Spray first for heat protectant and then use the Great Barrier afterwards after I curl my hair to keep those curls intact. So that is my review of the Beach Waver B1 and the Great Barrier Heat Protectant Flexible Hold Hairspray. So yeah, bye!